Information and Communication Technologies, on which DoD military, business, and intelligence operations depend, are built primarily of components produced by commercial suppliers. Most of these components are delivered through supply chains that are global, dynamic, and far from transparent. These supply chains are complex webs of organizations, people, processes, technologies, information, and resources that offer our sophisticated adversaries diverse opportunities or attack vectors for compromising critical components in DoD systems. In this notional global supply chain, we trace a commercial off-the-shelf integrated circuit, a commercially available product used in DoD systems, from design through fabrication, assembly and test, distribution, and integration into printed circuit boards and systems before they are shipped to end users. Integrated circuits may be designed by companies based in the United States, but many of these companies are global and outsource much of their design activity to countries such as the United Kingdom, Israel, and India. Integrated circuits are particularly vulnerable to malicious tampering during the design phase. An adversary with direct access to a circuit's design might alter it to add a back door for later access or cause the circuit to fail prematurely. Wafer fabrication, the complex and advanced foundation of manufacturing state-of-the-art integrated circuits, occurs in a limited number of leading-edge fabrication facilities across the globe, from the United States to Germany, to Korea, Japan, Malaysia, China, and Taiwan. The leading-edge fabrication process uses equipment and raw materials sourced from numerous vendors. The process is so precise and complex that the design data must be tailored to the processes of a specific fabrication facility. This reduces the diversity in the supply chain and makes it easier for adversaries to target integrated circuits destined for military systems. Once processed, wafers are separated into individual integrated circuits and then assembled and tested. This process often occurs in China, the Philippines, Malaysia, Taiwan, and the United States. Assembly and test includes connecting wires encapsulating the circuit in a protective package and testing. The companies performing the assembly and test have unsupervised access to the integrated circuit die and considerable information about its functionality. This provides adversaries with an attack vector for sabotage, diversion, substitution, and reverse engineering. All entities that handle products are linked by complex distribution systems around the globe, Distribution involves both managing inventory and delivering products from one entity to another. In an effort to streamline the distribution process, distributors will sometimes have the package and test entity ship integrated circuits directly to the purchasing defense contractor, thereby unintentionally revealing that those circuits are intended for a DoD system. This notional supply chain illustrates a complex web of entities and processes. This complexity creates opportunities for adversaries to insert undesired functionality and exploit vulnerabilities that might compromise DoD operations. Exploitation of the global supply chain is a complex, growing, and dynamic threat to national security.